But I, I don't want to say that we're getting complacent <laughs> with losing. But it doesn't hurt as bad as I thought. No, it does. It, it's it's upsetting. However, it, it's it's not upsetting if I see progress, and I didn't really see too much today. Mm -hmm. And that's the only thing about it. Yeah. But we had some we had some great feedback from the uh, from the chat. Oh, live chat. Yeah, a lot of people oh. in that we had never talked to before. Yeah, so I'm was, so happy about that. Yeah, I love seeing new people in there and, and people, you know, tell us what you think. It's, you know what? I heard something on Double Nickel Zero on the way to... I Listen, I listened to Double Nickel Zero to make myself, you know, to put myself in the right frame of mind that, other, you know, that everybody is important and not to forget that because really? they don't think anybody's important. I listen to them too yeah. before I go lift. <laughs> okay. Works like a charm. <laughs> if you want to see two guys eating in a car, click that subscribe button. So Caller calls and he's making his point and he gets cut off and said, Yeah, I don't I don't think any of that matters. Like wasn't even done with what he was saying. And I think everybody's opinion's important. And everybody has their opinion for a reason. And you should hear them out. Whether you agree or not, they, they have that opinion for a reason. So I think it's I think it's your job as somebody who they turn to in a media role to give to have some constructive conversation, not no, I don't think any of that matters. I don't know how I feel about that, so uh, thanks. I, Moving on. I, that bothers me. Is that something that they don't know what the answer is? Is that why they should lash out in that fact? Because, like, I got, I got to be honest. I had a discussion earlier this week with a friend of mine, and we were talking about offenses and stuff. He goes, well, you don't really like Dable, so I'm not even going to. I'm like, tell me about it. What you, I was like, you, you, you're in support of Dable. Yeah. And he said, yeah. He goes, but I know you don't like him, so you probably won't listen. And I'm like... What has happened to this individual that I said, no, no now I want to hear it. I would love to hear it because yeah. if you have points that I may have missed or I don't know or I'm not seeing, I would love to hear it. Yeah. I would absolutely love to hear it. I was like, just please tell me. And then we, and we had a very, very productive, like 15 minute conversation about yeah. Brian Dable's offense. And, yeah. I, and he brought up things to light that I hadn't thought of before. And it was a great conversation, but like too many times, like in social media and stuff like that, especially on the radio, just, you just hammer shut them down. out. It's, yeah, it's ridiculous. Shut, yeah, you can just shut down. That bothers me a lot, you know. Yeah. I understand that, you know, in the radio world, they're they're very corporate, so they have to turn out so many callers per hour. I get that it's production, but listen, if you can't hit your production, then it's because you're not listening. You're you're not listening. If people heard the point that was being made, then maybe they're not going to call any, you know. Yeah. Like they're not going to call and repeat the same point that somebody else just made. You didn't listen. You didn't have a good dialogue. You didn't teach. You didn't instruct. You didn't, you know, like, it just bothers me, man. Like, at the postgame show, we covered what what the, what the 22 personnel is. Because you'll see signs on the sideline. If you're at a game, that's yeah. what you're going to see. Well, what does it mean? Well, here's what it means. And while you're watching the game, if you're on the opponent's sideline, and you know, and you're looking across to the Bills, you can look at it and say, "Oh, they're going to be in 22 this play," and you'll know it before anything else happens, mm -hmm. right? You'll be a leg up. You'll be you'll be running at the same speed as the stuff on the sidelines, you know. And you and you can look for substitutions, and you just look at the you can watch the game at a higher level just by listening to somebody else's argument. Right? Yeah, that's it. Absolutely, it's not even an argument; it's a debate. Like we like to we like to discuss a lot of things. We often see eye to eye, but we still talk about it and take opposite points and I think that strengthens your ability as a fan I think it does too I know I mean and between between us because you know a lot of the a lot of the people that probably watch our channel they don't know us you know oh, they, yeah. they know the the verbiage we go back and forth with a lot but I mean we know each other well so I know I sometimes know where you're going mm -hmm. however when when a fan I mean I'm sure we can call them fans at this point yeah you know, but I, when, I our, know, when our subscribers, our subscribers, yeah. I don't really, you know, I shouldn't call them fans because it seems like they're part of this community now. Oh yeah. Absolutely. So they come in. And I love they, the live chat. They, oh, yeah. they talk amongst themselves and they, I, I love it. It's, it's so phenomenal. They, it's, it's a great platform. Like I haven't, not once, it's, even in the, even in the videos we post throughout the week, no one snipes at each other. No. It's great. It's very productive content mm -hmm. and discussion. And that's what I love because they'll just throw stuff at us and I'm like, 
I need to think about that for a second. I wonder if Paul's got it. Mm -hmm. And then you'll jump right on it. Mm -hmm. And then I hopefully it works the other way. Oh, ones. absolutely. But um, it's such a great discussion and forum for Bills fans. I'm glad that I'm glad that they uh, that everyone that you all you know jump in on it and hopefully you get some great feedback from us. But no, it's I, like like when you when you started off, double nickel zero. They just took, bam, bam, bam. Like just totally chopping everybody sucks, off. Sucks, man. It just sucks. People deserve better than that, you know. They do. And I I know that there's probably the best of intentions with some people within that organization and and that do broadcast. Um, but the the mainstays are just very troubling to me because, you know, when you stop listening to people, that's when you're just spouting your own rhetoric. You're just believing your own nonsense. Mm -hmm. Like, the moment I stop listening to people um, is the moment we stop doing this. You know, I, I need to oh, be yeah. able to hear everybody's perspective. I, the moment we stop listening is the moment we should stop. I think it's it's unique from us, and we may have a different discussion in, in 2019, but you realize when we started, we didn't have a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So no. we were banging the drum trying to get people to hear us first. Yeah. And then when they did, they started return and serve. And I tell you what, man, I have so much fun doing this. Yeah, this is hilarious. So much fun. And there's some there's some production out of it. And hopefully, I mean, because I've learned stuff that I didn't know from our subscribers. Yeah. And hopefully they've learned some stuff from us. Oh, they bail us out all the time. Yeah. <laughs> they bail us out all the time. I'm not no, going to say that this they is don't. This, this is this. This is this. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, guys, I don't remember the answer to this. Do you know? Like the Chan Gailey thing today. How do we oh. forget about Chan Gailey? He's easily forgettable. He wasn't a very colorful coach. Uh, well, I mean, he, you're right. It wasn't boisterous, but, I mean, that was... People look at the last time the Bills had success, and it was with Chan Gailey. Mm. You know? That's peculiar. Heavy with a peculiar bomb. <laughs> Just dropped it over there. <laughs>